Hi Mick, John here. Just want to show you how very simple this is to use. Uh, first, of all, the first of all, step one is see we've got this little balloon help as well with these question marks. So pretty much uh, self-help. Go ahead and click step one. And uh, first thing you need to do is you need to be you need to have your Google Alerts set up. Uh, I'm currently logged in. If you're not logged in, you click on this. It'll ask you to log in. Set up a new alert. Uh, as you see fit, whatever keywords you want, and when you create a new alert, just make sure you select feed right here. It has to be selected feed right here, obviously your keyword in the top. Okay, and then uh, go ahead and click refresh. This is the default feed, refreshes all your feeds, and um, I've got a default feed associated with this blog. So you put in your blog address, username, password for your uh, blog admin, and uh, you'd select a default feed that goes with that blog. That's it for setting up the profile. So step two, and you can see a little window down the bottom here where we can actually see the blog listed down here. So step two, curate. Uh, first thing, you can select whichever blog you want to uh, to curate for. Select your keyword out of those lists of keywords and feeds I've got. Um, and then I can put in a post type, whatever I want. You'll see that comes up in a moment because what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on news to select this new to Los Angeles that looks good. Arthritis walk. Here we go. So I can put whatever I want up here at the top. Uh, I can delete that text, obviously. Uh, images. We've got the images from the page itself. We can put that in. Or well, more importantly, we've got these other uh, license-free images. Wiki Commons has like over a million license-free images. You can change that. Let's click on just search on rheumatoid arthritis uh, rather than diagnosis. Pick any of these. Click on that. And as simple as going insert into post. It's now been inserted back to my editor there it is at the top of uh, wherever the insertion point was I can obviously tag this with uh, image properties to give it a tag for SEO purposes I can also put a video in so let's just put a video um, maybe at the bottom of the post here obviously I can put whatever text I want uh, which I'm not going to take time to now videos I've got all these YouTube videos again with this um, this a keyword there I can change that and search for whatever I want pick a video I like the look of and there's the description here I can read, there's the embed code, but I don't need to use that, I just click insert in the post and there it is and the video will be there down the bottom and I can preview it and everything without any problem at all and uh, I can also go to that original article, the article that the feed, come, Google feed comes from, so I can go to this article and I can grab any of this text I want um, and just copy it and of course paste it into my editor window here wherever I want um, and uh, that's it and obviously I can, I've got it that in that red text, I can change that just with the WYSIWYG stuff up here of course, you know, it's uh, very straightforward to do. Literally select the post title I want up here, set the category I want to put it in for my blog, set a post date, I can change it to whatever I want and uh, click post and that's it and that post is now on my blog. I've got a little shortcut down the bottom here so I can go and have a look at it on my blog and also of course I can go back to my blog right here and navigate to it uh, through the normal uh, window as well if I don't want to open it in my browser. Okay, one last thing to show you, mate. Articles. Ezine articles. You will need just to set up your API with Ezine, which is take it's a 30 second job. Uh, and then again, same as before, I can select whichever blog profile, whichever my blogs I'm posting to. That's my Ezine API key. I can retrieve all the categories and just select, uh, you know, whatever I want health and fitness, arthritis. There we go. And it brings up all these articles here, and I can just select one that looks good exercise looks good click on it it brings the article up in this window I can read it as much as I want and then when I'm ready just click here to start curating and we're back to what I showed you already back in the curation window with all the same images videos etc uh, bits that I can put in there okay buddy hope that helps it's uh, it's pretty powerful very simple to use with these uh, different curation a, a bit abilities here just to put images and videos in very very quickly and easily I can basically get a, a fresh curated post up here either from Ezine or from any of those Google feeds uh, in a matter of uh, almost seconds but certainly minutes. Right mate